everybody, Kenzie here, and today I'm going to be recording a video for you guys, obviously, because, hello, okay, anyways, so, um, I'm just going to be kind of doing a chit-chat, get ready with me style of a video today, um, I went to Ulta yesterday because I really, 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 really wanted this palette, so I went and got it, and this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, I haven't really seen a palette in a while, that's like in Ulta or Sephora or something that I've really wanted and the Born to Run palette there is just something about it that is absolutely stunning it's so beautiful and I'm really excited to play with it yeah so I thought we would chit chat do my makeup and um play with this stunner today we're going to be using our Marc Jacobs uh Invisible Undercover Primer. Um, I haven't used this in a while. a while, and I started using it uh, about well, a few days ago, and I forgot how much I absolutely adore this stuff. Um, it just makes your skin feel so nice and super moisturized. I've been traveling a lot. Um, in June I was in Houston and in New York City. Um, both were absolutely incredible. I got to see all three of my best friends in a summer, which is just, it's insane. Now I'm going to be using my Dr. P uh, Pores No More, sorry, Dr. Brandt Pores No More Illuminating Primer just um, on my nose and on my cheeks for um, some pores. My high school best friend moved to um, Houston about a year ago for grad school and I'm just really happy that I got to go down and like spend some time with her in Houston. Um, it was honestly like a magical magical thing. Um, we had so much fun. We laughed a lot. We cried a lot. Um, we had we just had like we haven't had like a lot of like me and her bestie time in like so long so it was just like super amazing to uh, be down there with her because um, I love her to death. Okay, so for foundation, since it is summer, I do use a powder foundation. Um, so I'm using the uh, Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Foundation in Fair Light Neutral. Um, I don't do concealer and just because my skin is pretty good in the summer. Um, I always feel like my skin just behaves itself the most in summertime. Um, so the brush that I'm using today is a cosmetics brush and it is the airbrush complexion brush complexion perfection brush in number 117 so yeah we're just gonna go like this on my face and then New York City was really fun um, because the original reason I was going is because um, me and Denise about a year ago would have gotten um, tickets to see Harry Styles and MSG and that was kind of like a we got them and we weren't really sure how it was going to work we were like we'll like figure it out and then like slowly it started to be like oh my god we're actually gonna do this and it was like insane we were just like oh my god like this is actually happening and we're like okay flights okay um you know what are we doing how is this working um MSG was magical. I met some amazing people. Um, I got to spend some time with some people that I absolutely just adore. Um, and then my sister came along with us, which was really amazing. And I got to see my childhood best friend, Brooke. So, honestly, it was just, like, so much fun. I loved it. It was just so good. I was going to vlog New York, but honestly, we were so go, go, go. I just couldn't. Um... But, and, and sleep deprived. We were so sleep deprived. Oh my god. For brows today, I'm going to be first off filling them in with my MAC um, eyebrow crayon. And I'm not sure. I think it's in the color Lingering. I'm not really sure. Um, and I'm just going to take a spoolie brush. Um, I'm also going in with the Brow Gel by The Brow Gel. Um, and this is in Brow Hair 02. I just feel like it gives my brows a good look. So that's my room. That we're doing it okay so before we start doing the eyes I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance 
Okay, going into the Born to Run palette now, I'm going to take, I'm just going to take my, my, what else? I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush, which is my Sedona Lace EB13. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I kind of want to like go like blues and purples and go, <sighs> these two colors together are like calling my name, but I'm not really sure how I can make them look really good. But we might try it. So first off, I'm going to start with Weekender, which is just a matte. Not a lot of fall. I'm just, I don't, I'm like Jackie Anna with this. I don't really care about fall that much. But, um, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to sweep that in my crease as a transition shape. Got this in there. This is just a nice, like, pretty taupey transition shape. So, I mean, it's a basic shade. There's, like, nothing really to it. But, you know. Um, okay, next I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller blending brush. Um, this is Luxie 229 Tapered Blending. It's got a little bit of a stained purple on it. We're just ignoring it. I'm going to go in with Riff, which is like a... More of like a sandy... Not sandy, I would say more like... I don't even say taupe. It's definitely a warm brown. And we're just going to focus that in the crease. Oh, she's got some pigment to her. She got some pigment. Okay, cool. Now, I want to get a little bit deeper in the crease, but I kind of want to go in with this Howlride, but I'm not sure if it's going to look good with the guilt chip. But we're going to we're gonna try it. This blending brush is this, uh, blend, just a blender brush by Sony Kashuk. And we're just going to take that lightly in the crease, just to kind of deepen it up. Give it a little bit of a kind of a purpley undertone. It actually looks really good. So now we're going to take Guilt Trip. That's the color. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, she pretty. And I'm going to take it on the outside and on the inside for the most part, but I am going to cut the crease of it so it doesn't really matter. But, oh, a little bit of follow. A little bit. But not a lot, but I'm again like Jackie Ina and I don't care. I don't think like fall it's like the end of the world. Yeah, this shade is kind of bit of fallout. We're gonna try it wet in like two seconds, so hold on. I hope you can't hear my dog. That's my dog Louie. Well my parents dog Louie. He's crying because he's sad. Okay, that doesn't like intensify it like too much but like it's like enough where it's like okay I don't think you need to wet it but I'm still getting fallout from this are you joking um I'm going to be taking a concealer brush Lexi 211 concealer brush and just some tart ship top and I'm going to somehow kind of like do like a middle cut? I don't know what that's called. I'm doing a cut crease, just like a different cut crease, if that makes sense. So you'll kind of see how I'm doing it, I think. All right, Whew, took a lot of concentration. I'm going to take, because I think this will look really pretty, I'm going to take Ignite and I'll put that in the center. Oh, it's such a pretty color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. And then obviously we're going to blend it. So we kind of got that color laid down. Now I'm going to take this brush and... Blended. And now I'm going to take that shade still shot and just kind of blend around the edges a bit of that. Um, now we're just going to go and do the same thing on the other side. So. I actually kind of like, now that both eyes are done, I actually like the the look of it. Um, again, I'm just going to take that still shot shade and just kind of go around it. 
I'm gonna smoke her out a bit. So we're actually gonna start with still shot because I kind of want it to be a little bit warmer of a smoke up. So smoke her out with that orange shade. Kind of pull the warmness of the crease down. Um, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Riff. Riff. Last but not least, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Hellride. Oh, that didn't even know that's what that was called. And brush her like right there on the bed. Yeah, keeping that, that under part a little bit more on the warm side. I like that. It needs a little bit of deepness, so I'm also going to take a little bit of guilt trip and just rub her all across. Okay, I'm going to take silver. I don't know why, I just think it'll look really cool up on the, like, the cut crazy part, I think. Maybe, maybe gold. The gold is just, like, really yellow toned. So I think the silver will counteract the orange and it'll look cool. So we're gonna we're gonna try something. And it might fail miserably, but we're gonna do it. JK, that looks sick. Ooh la la! Just a little bit of that silver right there makes makes it really cool. All right, let's do some lashes. I'm gonna put some mascara. Gotta put my lashes on now. My least favorite part of the day. I'm using these lashes today. I think these are by Pure Cosmetics. I'm not sure though. One lash on. Lashes, I just love these lashes. I don't remember what they are. I wore them for my sister's wedding. I know that. And I wore them for, I think, my cousin's wedding. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like the silver, like, the more that I look at it. Ah! Okay, cool. Next, um, we're going to contour slash sort of bronze, but more contour. I'm going to be taking this brush, which is by, uh, it's a point of blush brush by Laura Royal and Langnickel in the shade Inventor, um, out of this pure, um, sculptor palette. This is really pigmented. But I really like the color. Sorry if you can hear friends in the background. Oh, you can also hear my dog probably know. So today I'm going to be using the Studio Makeup um, Luminous Loose Blush in... Um, I don't know what color. It doesn't have a color on the bottom. I don't think this is their only kind though. Or their only like color, so... Last. But certainly not least. Was the highlight. Actually, I think I'm going to go with Eclipse, which is by Jeffrey. It is a limited edition. I actually don't know. I think they still have this on his site. I'm not sure, though. Um, it's by Manny and Yue and Jeffrey. This is the first one because I know they changed the logo after. I spray my brush with some Urban Gate Slipping Spray, and then I'm just going to dip it in the pan. Dip it in that pan. Okay, this doesn't get wet. Because the problem with, I love this highlighter, but it doesn't really um, stick to um, brushes very well. So you do have to wet it. Oh, yes, there we go. See, once you get it, mm, that highlight though, it's very stunning. All right, and last but not least, the lipstick. I'm going to be wearing Toasted Almond by L'Oreal. There we go. Oh, 
All right, so this is the finished look with the Urban Decay on the Run palette. My final thoughts is that it's a really great palette. I think the color story is really quite beautiful on it. Um, you can create warm tone, cool tone, all that kind of stuff. I know it's been such a long time since I have uh, been able to film a video for you guys, so I'm really happy I got to sit down and film a video. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you know when my newest video will be out. Um, yeah, and go watch some of my previous videos. I've got tons of stuff. Um, so just uh, go take a look. Also, if there's any videos you would love me to do, if there's a product you'd like me to review, if there's anything, leave a comment, give me a suggestion, and uh, maybe I'll just do it. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, I, get, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.